What y'all been up to? What's going on? Getting ready to start this new vlog. You guys, uh, you guys like to, to follow me and know what's going on in uh in my life right quick. You know what I'm saying? You guys uh following me in this trucking game that I'm that I'm doing for the last for the last few years. Y'all know this game ain't no uh ain't no joke. It takes a lot of heart, a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifices, you know what I'm saying? This game is not for the faint of heart. No, it isn't. It is not for the faint of heart. You feel me? Y'all feel me, right? I know y'all hear me talking to you. What I'm about to do right now is... About to get this day started, y'all. What's good? What's going on, everybody? Lockout men here again. And I'm coming to you this time with something on my mind. Everything that I say on, on my videos and on my channel, disclaimer, is my opinion it is never the opinion of the companies that i work for or the companies that i talk about they have different opinions you see what i'm saying so this is just my own opinions all right that's my phone i gotta get that so i'll come back to you guys and start it up mission today at least for right now I am a little low on fuel right now and the route that I'm that I could take and don't have no fuel locations along the routes well it does have locations along the route it's just unfortunate that it's not in our network to use along the route so we have to use that's in this handy dandy fuel book. Now, I mean, I understand what they're trying to do as far as trying to save money and all that good stuff. We, we gotta, I mean, I'm still in route, but I'm, I'm going out of route. You know what I'm saying? A little bit out of route to get to some of these uh, fuel locations. Which is not a which is not a problem. It's not a it's not a it's not a big deal right here. So instead of me taking 39, which is a straight shot, which is about two hours, I got to take 57, which go, it goes a little bit out of the way, and go up to where my fuel stop is at or where my network fuel stop is at, and that is about mm, about. About 25 to 30 minutes added on to the time that I need to get to my uh, destination. Keeping your head up on water, making a way when you can. Temporary layoffs, good times. Easy credit ripoffs, good times. Scratching and surviving, good times. I believe we made it. Yeah. Yes, sir, we have made it. To the pilot right here in Moni. Which, like I said, I, I kind of figured out what to do, how to do it, when to do it. We got here, so now I'm about to go in here and get some fuel. And there is a open skillet or skillet open or or skillet whatever skillet is across the street so about to go over there and get me something to eat and take my half an hour and i am still doing good time good time what to do what to do you know i got this load right here that's about to head down to uh shelby indiana about five plus 500 plus miles 
So I'm about to get that on down the way. Let me tell you something. Ever since I've been on with this company, it is it, it's, it's really has been has been a pleasurable experience. Pleasurable? Is that even a word? But yeah, it's been a pleasurable experience. <laughs> How you like it over JR now? Oh, I'm digging it, man. I'm is digging it. it. Good? I'm digging it. I don't have no problems with miles, nor do I have problems with my fleet manager. I mean, ever since I've been there, you give me, you give me the miles I want and the whole time I want. I can't complain about it. Company. The companies have their ups and downs, you know, and not and not every company is perfect. You you will not. I, I quote, will not find a perfect trucking company. You will find a company that that is a good fit for you. And I think, you know, I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself because, you know, I'm still, I'm still semi-new to the company, you know. My year is coming up so far. So far, so good. You know, I, I I had a I had a few bumps along the way. But I came back to the truck door, and all of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute, the door ain't ain't open. I I said I could have sworn I left the door unlocked. And I'm over here shaking and shaking and pulling on the door and everything, and I'm like, oh my god. I locked myself out of my truck. Oh, man. So I thought I was going to go over here to Love's and, you know, buy a lockout kit. I used to charge like $100 to come out here to these truck stops and unlock these cats' doors. I thought I had to go in there and be my own lockout man. But I went into the, uh, I went into the, to the uh, tire shop. And I talked to the old boy right quick. It was like, hold up, hold up. He said, what kind of truck you got? International. It's not a Pro Star, it's an LT. He said, if you had a Pro Star, I could get in that bad boy easy. I'm over here like, okay, well, this is an LT. Let's see what you can do. And this dude came over to the truck with a car key. I kid you guys not. He had a car key, a car key. Wiggled that lock a little bit. It got me right in. What's good, everybody? I am here at JNL JNR Swoogle's new arm terminal this morning. It's a little, it's a little nippy out there, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, I guess you guys wondering why I am here at the terminal. I'm here at the terminal for twofold. Number one, I had to uh, come in and do my uh, PM for the truck. And I had to uh, come in and get the, the mirror ordered. So they, they got the PM done, which is quick, by the way. You know, just roll up in here, let them know what you need, and it gets done. Thank you, New Alm Terminal. Shop, other places I've been at, they don't have the... They didn't have. They don't have the quickness of getting your truck in and getting it fixed. Luckily for me, I only had a. I only had a PM and it was simple. So, got it in, get it done, and I'm back on the road. They had to order the mirror. You know, you guys know the mirror that got clipped when I was on the side of the highway. Well, the mirror got clipped, and luckily for me, they are going to put an order in. So while I'm waiting for the mirror, it's going to take about a week, I think, 
So while I'm waiting for the mirror, I can still drive my truck. So my my mirror isn't damaged to the point that I can't drive the truck. I had to talk to my uh, safety director today about that issue. So I got that taken care of. Home messaging. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. That's good. Sometimes you just don't get opportunities like this. At least not too many anyway. I'm about to go ahead and sweep out my trailer. It's done. It's finished. Receipt in hand, paperwork in hand. About to hop back in this truck and head over to my next pickup right quick. Go over there, grab that, and keep it moving today. There's one more thing you don't want to do. One of the drivers here didn't have no comm data checks or T checks, where there's different types of, of payment methods that you can use to pay the lumpers. Majority of them wants checks. Our company have comm data. I think her company has T checks, and unfortunately she don't have none. So here's a tip for you guys. Now, I don't know if you guys do this already, but I do it all the time. Every time I go to the terminal, I ask for more paperwork and more comm data checks. Now, I know what you guys are saying that, well, you got way too many of them, but I, I'd rather have way too many of them than not having none of them. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to get in a situation that I run out of run out of trip sheets that I won't be able to get paid or run out of comm data checks that I won't be able to pay them. See what I'm saying? So keep a stack you know what i'm saying i got i got this much and it just keeps on growing duct tape fits everything you know what i'm saying made it over here to craft over here in champagne again this is like Deja vu. I mean, I, I thought I did this one time before. Haven't I? Haven't I? Here at uh, Champaign, Illinois, back at the Craft Distribution Center here in uh, Champaign, Illinois. Yeah, I think I did do this one time before. It was last week. It was last week. And you want to know something? Actually, that last week turned out to be okay. Especially check wise anyway, because I didn't expect to get what I got last week here About to drop this boy and pick up another one and head down to Aurora, Illinois right quick One of my cameras is down <laughs> Yeah, man um, My R2 My R2 Vantru dash camera, which is a very nice dance dash camera, by the way. Uh, it finally went out last night, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of upset. You know, this this little dash camera right here been with me since the beginning, and um, and I'm I'm kind of hurt. I mean, I I seen the signs coming. You know what I'm saying? You know, it started slow recording and then it started skip recording and then sometimes I would go back and look at the footage and it, it wouldn't record for a day. McDonald's, right? McDonald's got all these new dollar menu items, right? A uh, dollar, two dollars, three dollars or whatever, but basically it's a dollar, right? So... If you go into McDonald's and ask for a small fry and they turn around and tell you the small fry is a dollar eighty nine, wouldn't you think that the that the fries, at least a small fry, will be on the dollar menu? You would think that, right? But yet the fries is a dollar eighty nine. Something that makes you go, hmm. See, that's why I don't mess with McDonald's. I'm just saying. 
Well, there you have it, people. I'm telling you, man. Got over here quick. But my plans to make it to Ohio today is not going to happen.